Hello athletes, family, friends, and coaches. We want to welcome you to the Northeast Regional Championship hosted by the World Ninja League. At our regional champions events, all of our athletes will be competing in two events, the flow course and the challenge course. In each wave this weekend, all the athletes will run uh, the two course formats and we will uh, be doing the demonstration here for the flow course first. Um, this format is going to uh, score the athletes runs up until their first failure of an obstacle. And then the winner of the flow course will be the athlete that made it for this the fastest. <clears throat> We're going to now begin the walkthrough here for our flow course rules. Um, we are going to start off with introducing what the obstacle is and we'll be able to state if it has hands or feet or both. Uh, remember that everything that is not mentioned is assumed to be out of play and that anything that is mentioned will be utilized within the obstacle. Um, we're going to provide the description of the obstacle and then our wonderful tester here is going to give a demonstration of the obstacle. In this course, no flat platforms are skippable due, our due to our close proximity rule. And additionally, uh, please remember that athletes are responsible for engaging the buzzer. The World Ninja League and Ninja Works recommend that you push a firm press on the buzzer to make sure that you have ensured that you have uh, hit the buzzer. Once that has happened, we will get an awesome display of Ninja Works lights and smoke to signify that you have successfully pressed the buzzer and completed your course. We want to thank everybody for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions uh, when you get on site, please ask any of our WNL staff that we can help you and answer prior to your runs. We want to wish everyone the best of luck and we're going to go right into our first obstacle. So our first obstacle here is going to be the ascending steps. Um, a couple of our obstacles will have two demonstrations, one for female, one for male. I will say that when we actually get to those specific obstacles. Um, but for here, both uh, male and female athletes are going to utilize this red platform that Andrew is standing on. He will then use the red tops of all of the ascending steps to then go and land on this platform, pl uh, platform here. This is the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot. I'm going to explain uh, the next obstacle um, in play here so we can do it all in one succession. So. That will be your start platform for the second obstacle, the ring slider. You will be able to then utilize the ring uh, and land down on this platform here, which is the red block. Um, so again, first obstacle is going to be hands and feet. Um, doesn't matter, get yourself through it. Second obstacle is going to be a hands only on the ring and dismount onto that red platform. All right, Andrew, demonstration, please. And clear for obstacles one and two. Perfect. All right, third obstacle is going to be our tornado pole. This will be your start platform. So remember, please do not overshoot as it will be uh, the start platform for your next obstacle. If you were to fail it, you would complete the second obstacle, but then fail the third. All right, um, other things about it, you have the bar uh, pole here in play and you'll be able to utilize it to work your way around to land on this blue platform here. This is also the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot it. Um, this is not part of your, plat your landing platform, so please, you are just utilizing the blue platform here as your finished platform. So this is both for the male and female courses. Andrew? Perfect. All right, working our way onto our next obstacle is going to be the uh, warp wall run. You will have uh, the blue platform here as your start platform. You will then be able to utilize the purple mat, the black uh, warp wall, the white strip. Um, and for the females, you will have this angle step in play and you'll then be able to use the rope and this is your landing platform. For the males, again, blue start platform, purple runway, black and white on the wall, but this angle step will be removed. Um, so you'll just have the rope and then this red landing platform. So we're gonna demonstrate our female version first, then we'll remove the step to demonstrate our male version. Andrew? Perfect. So that pull pad and blue mat is also incidental, so please don't worry about it if you were to hit it or use it. Um, we just want you guys to complete this obstacle. So moving the red platform out of the way. Um, and this will now be the male version of the obstacle. Perfect. And that is a clear for both. <clears throat> All right. 
Moving on to our next obstacle is going to be our lache lane here. Um, we have left the red box on the platform there if you think you need a little extra boost to get up, but your start platform will be either the red box that is standing on or this here. So whichever one that you are on, you are perfectly fine to use as your start platform. Um, just going back, this is just a finished platform. So if you land on this and shoot past it, you are perfectly fine um, as it is just the finished platform for that last obstacle. Okay, so we will have two demonstrations here, one female and one male. Um, the first one is going to be the female version. You'll be able to utilize, again, your start platform. You will then have the three bars. If you care to use the PVCs, feel free. Um, and you will then land on this green platform here. So, uh, Andrew, female demonstration. All right, and that is a clear. So for our a male course, you will have the PVCs brought into the center here. So again, your start platform will be that red platform. You will then be able to utilize the um, P, uh, bars and the PVC to then go and land again on this green platform. Andrew? Well done. All right. This is the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot it, as you would have then cleared the first uh, previous obstacle and failed the next one. All right, moving on to our next obstacle is going to be our sideways throws. Um, first version is going to be the female version. You will have the use of both the inside and the outsides of the first two sideways, and then be able to utilize this bar at the end to then land on this red platform as your landing platform. Please make sure that you pass the plane um, as you will not be cleared until you have fully uh, passed that plane. Um, Andrew? Perfect. All right, so that was the female version. And for our male version, we will be bringing in the third sideways. For the males, you will only be able to use the insides of the um, sideways, and you will then land on that red platform. And that is a clear. So uh, we will be moving on to our next obstacle, which is the boot scoot. So you will have um, the red platform here as your start platform. You will be able to utilize the ring to then swing on through and land on this red platform. This is the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot it. Uh, this is both the demonstration for the female and male courses. Perfect. All right. Um, moving on to our next obstacle. This is going to be the angle step run. This red platform here is going to be your start platform. You will then be able to utilize both hands and feet on these angled steps here to work on through and land on this blue landing platform. The red part of the platform, I'm gonna also consider part of the landing platform for if for some reason you overshot it some crazy way. This is all in play, blue and red as your landing platform. It is then the starting platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot um, onto the other side and touch the ground as you would have completed this obstacle but then failed the next. Um, this is going to be the demonstration for both our female and male courses. Andrew? Perfect. All right. Moving on to our second to last obstacle, we will have our TikTok to hexagon throw. There will be two versions here as well. Um, first will be the female. You'll be able to utilize this red platform here as your start platform. The TikTok will be in play. And then all parts of this blue and black hexagon inside the slots, whatever you want to use. Um, will be in play to be able to then lache and dismount onto this black landing platform here. So we'll get a demonstration of that first. Andrew? Perfect. 
All right, and pop on down. I'm gonna make the quick adjustment here for the teen males. <clears throat> the teen males is going to have the hexagon uh, pulled up into the uh, flat position so that you can grab all parts. Um, again, the red start platform is going to be where you will begin um, and you'll be able to utilize the TikTok and then have all parts again, like I said, of the hexagon to make your way through and land on the platform, which I will show you in one second. <clears throat> all right, so the teen males will then dismount off to the side and land on this starting platform here. So, Andrew. <clears throat> Remember, all parts of the hexagon are in play. And that would be a clear. All right, moving on to our final obstacle. Bring this back over for our females. All right, so this was the finished platform of your last obstacle. It is also the start platform of your last obstacle, which is going to be the claw slander onto this platform. All right, so females, you will have this start platform. You'll be able to utilize the black parts of the claws here. You will then be able to slide them on the track, work your way across, and you will use this red landing platform over here as your finished platform. After you have completed this last obstacle, you will make your way over to firmly press the Ninja Works buzzer, which will signify the completion of your course. Andrew? All right, and that would be a clear for that course. So now for the male version of the course. Pop these out of the way. And your start platform would again be that platform over there. And you will have the use of these canes. If you want to slide them on there, that'd be great. <clears throat> All right, so again, start platform is the black platform. Um, the canes will be able to utilize um, here the black parts only. Slide your way on down, work your way across, and land on this red landing platform. Again, after you land on this red platform, you'll make your way to the buzzer. Press it firmly to signify the end of your course. Andrew? All right, and that would be a clear of the course. Again, this is going to be your flow course for both the male and female teens. Um, we wanna wish you the best of luck and can't wait to see everyone on the course this weekend.